Hello everybody, Levi Clay here. Quick little shred lesson for you. I don't do too many shred lessons anymore, but it's nice every now and again to pick up a guitar and just really bloody go for it. And sometimes when I do that, I make these little videos, chuck them up on Instagram, and if people like them, I talk more about them. So here is a video from my Instagram page. You can check me out on Instagram, of course, Levi Clay. And then I'll come back and I'll break down what's going on there for you. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got going on there? There's a lot of stuff going on there, and I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly what I played there. It's just a kind of roadmap, a way that I'll play from one area to the other on the neck when, when doing solo. So this is um, in the key of, uh, well, F, G, Dorian type phrasing. <laughs> So you want to get familiar with that scale, really. Lots of um, things that you can do in there. And I think that I'm sticking yeah, very strictly to just notes of the G Dorian scale. So um, the lick starts down around the third fret. This is kind of shape one minor pentatonic in my mind. This is all totally, in my mind at least, caged, of course how you choose to see the neck it will work in whatever system you use to visualize but this is how i'm visualizing so the first part is around the g minor the third fret and i'm playing this kind of andy james-esque in terms of you can see a little bit clearer there so that's a, a hammer from three to six on the e five on the d three, seven on the G, uh, D. And that's swept. And then reach down and hit five on the A, and then three, seven and three, seven. Reach down again, five, three and seven. And there'll be a tab of this at the end if you want to go through and look at exactly what I'm doing there, so. And then from there, I shift up. Now to me, that fits under G minor pentatonic shape three or G Dorian shape three or the C shape of the cases, however you choose to visualize. Fits around that, G minor played like that. Just vocabulary that works there. So. So I'm shifting up and again, not entirely sure what I do when playing at speed, um, but the basic idea is again, this ascending pattern, 7, 10 on the G, 8, 11 on the B, and then 8 and 13 on the high E. And then from there I do this um, descending arpeggio idea, uh, kind of sweeping. This is inspired by Tom Monda, Matthias Eklund, guys like that. So I'm playing 13 on the high E, pulling off to 8, then playing 11, 10, 8. To make it interesting, well, I like that massive leap from this low B flat all the way up to an F. So I then do the pull off twice. And you can move that around. Quite an interesting sounding arpeggio, I like that. Um, so after doing that, I'm then aiming to get to a tapping idea. So I'm high.
You can do lots of things there, but the basic idea is some sort of legato picked mix in that shape three. So if you've got this shape in mind, there's lots of things you can do. I think what I've written in the tab, but I've got the tab in front of me after doing the... Something like that. And then from there, it's all about the tapping thing. So... so you need to have those... Um, again, this is kind of cross-caged um, in my mind because you've got these five pentatonic shapes and I'm just in the left hand playing one and in the right hand tapping the note from the next. Move over to the G and you've got seven, ten, th uh, twelve. Move over to the high E and you've got um, ten, uh, eight, ten. And 13. Now I just play up to the G string. Oops. And descend. Then I slide up to the next position, so. Which would be, again, shape 4. Moving into shape 5. Oops. When you've got those, you know, down, you can uh, we have to switch legs for this. Oops. I don't do that stuff anymore, but <laughs> it, I've practiced that sort of thing. That's three notes in the left hand and then tapping a fourth. It's all just pentatonic shapes, so. So sliding on the G. And then ending on that high uh, G note. From there, I kind of change my perspective. I'm still tapping with these pentatonic shapes, but I, I find that when you play pentatonic for too long, it sounds boring. You could do that all day long, and it just. To me that sounds more interesting. So what I'm doing there is I shift from this pentatonic pattern in the 10th uh, fret area and then slide up to the 9th of G. So here I'm again I'm thinking shape 1 but up here. But I'm tapping the 9th or hammering the 9th. If you want to get theoretical on that, it's kind of like I'm playing a B-flat uh, major 7. Well, it's actually a B-flat major 9. So you've got this arpeggio substitution going on where I'm playing G minor 7. And then B-flat major 9. I'm still thinking of it as being G. Hence it being shape one, or else I'd be thinking B. Um, I'd be thinking uh, B flat shape four, the A shape. Now I just go between those two, so. Is something that you need to you get used to that position shift and I end it by tapping actually higher so so I tap up the octave in the right hand so 
So you get the first time. And the second time. You can use that position shift. I double tap. And then to end. That's what I go for. So the entire thing. That's that. quicker and then a little bit quicker still pretty ropey at the end there. Ah. Uh, yeah, so here is me pasting in the original Instagram lick for you again, and then a tab to finish. <laughs> If you have enjoyed that video, longer one than I planned, please do check me out on Patreon. Check that button up there. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking that button down there. And there's two more of my videos there and there. Lots of cool stuff to check out. Um, hopefully you enjoy the content I'm making. Peace out, guys. Pleasure to serve. And I'll be back for another video soon. Bye.